off. Yeah, unbelievable. So, I mean, Wellfield Park here, I think. There you are. That the prolific amount of potholes we've now got are being blamed on electric cars. Mini Beast. Bella. Bella the Mini Beast. I think, I think we'll, cut, we'll, we'll cut it off here. We're a lovely, lovely teammate. Homemade Chinese for you. A little bit of a chow mein and a beautiful chicken and sweet corn soup. Cut it off sounds painful. It's another day, and look outside, and you can see we have snow. Um, I wasn't too sure this Sandra's going to go into work this morning, but she's got an early start. I've not heard anything from her, so um, assuming she got into work okay. Right, oh my god, Facebook Marketplace yesterday, what an absolute flaming nightmare. Um, I'm sorry, I'm it's uh. Shopping day today. I'm going to go shopping and I'm also going to take Rasha for a walk in me. I'll show you some snow shortly. So yesterday morning, I had, um, I put these old wardrobes up for sale. Uh, and I got inundated with people. Can you knock five pound off? Can you knock 10 pound off? Can you, blah, blah, blah. can you, can you take it apart for me and deliver them? So obviously over on uh, Marketplace, there are a number of um, dealers and things. Anyway. Anyway, I ended up, um, this one person said, right, I'm, I'm getting a van, I'm going to come over tonight, I'm definitely coming, blah, blah, I said, are you sure you're definitely, I'm definitely coming, so I um, ended up putting a pending post on it, and then a sort of uh, 7 o'clock, oh, I can't get a van, um, can't can't get over, just leave, I don't want them now, it's like, oh, gee whiz, I bang, bang head on the wall, and all these other people have been coming in, and anyway, I've ended up then, arranging for somebody to come from Preston today. <laughs> so Preston from where I am is about 40 miles away. It's so about 45 minutes. It's quite a bit of a trek, to be honest. Are you definitely having them? Yeah, anyway, I've sent some messages. I've not heard anything back from them. So they should have gone. Um, and I'll give it till, I don't know, mid-afternoon. And if I don't hear back from them, I'll re-list. Re but God, my phone was pinging like mad yesterday. And this thing was was being collected and allegedly allegedly um somebody i just screen grab the messages are you definitely but yeah, yeah my dad's coming for it you know that may end up getting relisted so the joys of um facebook marketplace what an absolute <laughs> nightmare i'm a phone i just like honestly god I, I, ping 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 and then sandra was doing a tax return so I'm waiting. So this was uh, this ended up last night. Anyway, my uh, my tax return is in. My 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 duties have been paid. So I'm not one of the five million that leave it to the last minute, according to Sandra. So tax return is in. That's all done and dusted, and all my tax and um, contributions are all paid up. Right, I'm just going to finish a cup of coffee I've got downstairs, and then we'll take Russia for a walk. We'll go up to Wellfield Park at the top, I think, uh, and show you a little bit of snow we've got here in Manchester. Yeah. Just remembering <coughs> last year. <laughs> if you're a if you're a subscriber last year, you'll remember what happened when we got snow. Um, I won't have a full waffle about it, but to cut a long story short, as I think I mentioned on a previous vlog, um, uh, I had a car that was written off, and I was given a courtesy car off the insurance company. It was wonderful, fantastic, and then. Virtually exactly this sort of time last year, and again, you'll need to go back on my vlogs and have a look. There was, um, <laughs> it's quite surreal. Um, one morning, I'm sat in my living room having a cup of coffee, and there's a van parked outside on the road. And I think, yes, that's been there a long time. I'm thinking, what's sort of just is Russia? Um, thinking, what on earth is, um, is going on? And, um, was there for a while anyway look, looked out to where the courtesy car was i was parked up while i'm drinking my coffee and to cut a long story short a van had driven up the, our road uh, one was driving down our road both at speed full of snow and ice and uh, the car bottled it and instead of crashing into the van veered off crashed into my car the courtesy car that had about two two days brand brand new almost um and wrote it off yeah, unbelievable. So, I mean, Wellfield Park here. I think Sandra's here. Um, 
Um, she did a vlog here and we've got snow coming down. So Sandra used to look after this park. She, she was like the chair of the friends group. Um, and if you look on my feet, I think I can lift my feet up. You see here, I've got, I've got my Fitville, oh, snow's coming down again. I've got my Fitville um, winter boots on that I got sent uh, end of end of the summer, uh, autumn time. And these have been absolutely amazing. Look at them here. So I thought I'd just mention, I was watching uh, the last couple of weeks, I've been watching some YouTube channels um, sort of starting up in the last year or two, some to do lifestyle products and going out and cars and things like this. And these little YouTube channels start up, you know, they've got 100, 200 viewers and, uh, sorry, subscribers, and then they sort of get, get a bit of traction going, four or 500, and they're doing really good. I always wish YouTubers good luck. And uh, we will never do product reviews. Product reviews are for us. We'll never ever do product reviews. And, you know, on and on they go. And then obviously they reach a certain level where you can monotonize your channel and things like that uh which is good which is fine which is you know that's what it's all about and then um you'll then uh, you'll then slowly start getting uh, offers for product reviews and the amount of people that i've seen have gone on and on we'll never do product reviews we'll never do product reviews and then all of a sudden boom they're doing product reviews <laughs> Be a fool to turn them down, absolute fool. Don't do crap, don't do anything that's really, really cheap or nasty or anything like that. Only do, only do things that are applicable to your channel or your, your viewers. And that, that's what we do. We turn stuff down every single day. I mean, every day. Um, yeah, just absolutely hilarious. You know, you'll just get them, you know, I've just been sent blah, blah, blah. Anyway, enough of that. Um, there wasn't meant to be any more snow today, and there is. So Rashid enjoying her walk, um, and it's the sky's full of snow. And we've got for the next two or three days. It's not really going to get above freezing. I think tonight's going to be down to minus five. Uh, so oh, so. If you're in the UK, if you had snow where you are, I don't believe there's been any snow over in Lincolnshire. Cold, but no snow. Um, all right, finish Rush's walk off. Then I need to uh, I might give myself a cup of coffee, see if these people are going to turn up to pick this furniture up. And then a trip to my favourite store, store, going to Lidl's. <laughs> Rush is making a retreat for home. She's definitely a bit of a snowy dog. How are you doing, Rush? Hey. Now, thankfully all the main roads are clear, gritted, um, no problem, the side roads have got uh, snow and ice on, but um, the main roads are all okay. So I'm at my favourite shop here, look at that. I'm at Lidl's in Beigely, 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 <laughs> those that know will know. I was watching, um, there was something on the local news last night about um, potholes and um, how AI, artificial intelligence, may be fixing the potholes. And one of the, um, did, 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 did you hear this on, on any local news where you are? That the prolific amount of potholes we've now got are being blamed on electric cars. So the reason we're now getting more potholes is because the electric cars weigh more than conventional cars. <laughs> oh, you could, you just couldn't make this shit up. You just absolutely just blame everything apart from the state of the roads, isn't it? Just blame the cars now. Just blame, it's, it's all the electric car fault um i kid you not it was actually on on uh, something something on the your television not radio news i was watching um last night yeah that one of the reasons why we're getting an increase in potholes is um electric cars and the weight <sighs> you're gonna make it up could you right let's go and get me weekly shop done and out of the way right, back home still waiting to hear from people about furniture nightmare right i've got hello russia 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 what's it what are you doing hmm? what on earth are you doing Hmm? Go a treat. What are you doing? Here you go. I'm one of them. Uh, yeah, right. I'm going to just uh, have half an hour in the kitchen. Give it everywhere a bit of a tidy up. We had a roast chicken um, last night. Roast chicken tea. I didn't say I, I do, do, do do a nice chicken. And so many people buy breast of chicken for like 
six pounds or whatever for two breasts of chicken, a whole chicken, an entire chicken, you can pick up for the same price. But it takes a bit of effort to cook. Uh, anyway, we normally get two or three meals out of a chicken. So what I'm gonna do now, because me and Sandra ate half the chicken. Um, Sandra didn't go to her mum's last night, but quite often we'll make, um, a, a, well, is it a Manchester thing where you say to your mum or your granny, we'll make up a plate for you and we'll make up a meal. Anyway, I'm going to dissect all the meat from that chicken carcass that we've got there. Uh, I'm not going to show me doing this. I did this a, a couple of weeks ago, but for tea tonight, um, it's, it's way too early to even think about making tea. I'm going to do a Chinese style uh, chicken and sweet corn soup. Um, so when Sandra comes home, we'll have a nice big, probably make about a litre and a half, something like that. We'll have a nice big pan of um, homemade Chinese chicken and sweet corn soup. I'd say there is a vlog uh, a few weeks ago where I showed you me doing this. It's gorgeous and so simple. And then with the uh, rest of the chicken, um, got some peppers and spring onions. Uh, I've got some, um, what have we got here now? I've got some soy sauce out, some hosing sauce out, and uh, this is, uh, yeah, some oyster sauce. So we'll be marinating up that chicken. I'm going to let it soak with some peppers. Um, and I'm going to throw in some noodles and basically make up a bit of a, uh, a, a sort of bit of a chow mein, the Neil Taylor way. So do that now, and then um, I've got quite a lot of washing. I'm actually going to put the dishwasher on this afternoon, I think. I'm a little bit ahead of myself, so some spring onions, chopped, some finely, finely chopped up um, fresh garlic. I don't use a garlic press. I prefer to chop up the garlic um, than the garlic press. So I'm just going to put half of that in with what's going to become our main course and then some of it's going to go in with this chicken here part of the soup so i'll do that and then i need to peel up an onion cut some onion up for the main and a couple of peppers um and then i've got a couple of hours i'm well well ahead of myself at the moment so mm, it's, oh, smell of garlic so that's all the ingredients for the stir fry i'm going to mix that up now and then I'm going to get some of the sauces that I showed you before. Pour that in and give it a mix up. And that can just sort of like settle. Um, I've got some, I'm going to use one packet. I've got some soft noodles to throw in. And again, I'm prepping up here now for, um, for making up the chicken and sweet corn Chinese style soup, which is gorgeous. So that's all ready to go into the... Um, I'm getting low on soy sauce. That's all ready to go into the wok. All homemade. Made from scratch. That's the way to do it. So nice to be able to cook for two. Um, I just did a vlog. I don't know whether you may have seen it or not about when I'm at the campsite. Like cooking for one is pretty, it's not easy. And also, being able to cook and not being disturbed is a nightmare. Being able to then cook and eat your food while it's hot can sometimes be nigh on impossible. Anyway, whilst I'm home, take advantage of the situation. What's up, Rasha? Do you want to go out again? <sighs> She's a waggy tail. Wait, you're a lot of waggy tail, aren't you, Rash? Hey. All right, dishwasher on, that's all done, all clear up. I need to nip on to my computer for a bit now. Right, so furniture updates. The people that are going to collect the wardrobes and everything can now come in at the weekend, allegedly. I've offered to hold on to them, which is um, a little bit of annoying because I wanted them out this week and I was going to move Sandra out of the box room into Hannah's old room. And the other person with the other unit has just no show so it's four o'clock now um i'll give them till five o'clock and if i don't hear any back from them i'll relist um sorry i'm not going to show everything what i'm going on here but that's the um chow mein that i'm doing for tea with the chicken and stuff that you saw before i've got this chicken and sweet corn soup which is just beautiful 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 uh my, my version of it some um spring onions I'll get some noodles in the uh, in the stir fry in a moment. Okay, all served up. So uh, when Sandra finishes work tonight, um, she'll be able to have a nice 
Chinese bean meal. I can't believe photographs they see here, but that's the um, chicken and sweet corn soup. That chicken and sweet corn soup is so easy to do um, and really, really nice. Right, I'll do for now, and uh, I think we might try and have a catch up with Sandra when snowed. she gets it home. snowed. It did. Ah, blimey. I, I peered out the window this morning. You were fast asleep. I'm thinking, oh, it's coming down. As my mum would say, it's sticking. It was sticking. Did you say it? Do you know what else it was sticking to this morning when I did get up? The grass. I let Rasha out for five minutes and she came back white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's snowing quite heavily at that point. No, no, no. So, so, so yeah, it's, it's sticking. It's sticking, Neil. Ah, Neil. As my mum would say. So I don't know what time that was. It was dark. It must be about five o'clock this morning. I had a wee and looks wow. out and I'm thinking... No, oh, well, we'll start to be going to work and then got back in bed, took myself in and got up and you'd gone and my car was gone. I... Yeah, I mean, I set off early because I knew it would take longer to get in because of the snow, but it was fine. It was just a bit slow getting in. But... Yeah, well, the main roads were... The car were... got toasty and warm. No, I was going to say, I'll come to the car in a minute, but all the, ca all the roads around here were um, well gritted, to be fair. Yeah, so, but it wasn't only just snow, but it was the first commute into town in the mini beast bella Not mini beast bella bella the mini beast mini beast look the dog's Should barking I, I am but she's she's been super crazy so, so this is going to make no sense to our viewers when there's cooked food in the kitchen russia <laughs> And you're not going to get this. No, nobody's going to understand this. Should we just let her in? And we are. I'll explain what's going on. So when, so the minute there's a there's a stir fry, chow mein, in in in, in a wok, and when there's cooked food, Rasha makes it her job to sort of stand guard. She 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 physically sits and goes goes on guard in the. Um, not that good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She goes on, goes on guard in the kitchen, and she's also, we think, um, since she had this eye problem the other week, she's started to get, go a little bit weird with when she's hearing things. She's uh, going a bit, bit barky. Anyway, uh, so we've just, we've just let her in. She's doing a lot of hearing. So come, so, but come back, Sandra. Where are we? So I was just bribing Rasha with the dog. Yeah. So um, you, you, so you ended up, um, yeah, your, your first commute. In the uh, in the mini beast, how was it? Bella. Yeah, the mini beast. Bella. The mini beast. Bella. Bella, Bella the mini beast. So, yeah. So the there was fresh snow on the roads. So to be fair, it wasn't that icy. But anyway, it held up fine on 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 the snowy roads. Getting onto the main road, it warmed up really quickly compared to the Ago. Uh, so it was quite nice to actually be warm when it was freezing outside. So it was rather nice. <coughs> the dogs. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Roger? Right. <coughs> I don't do know. With her? I don't, she's for the last three weeks. She's she's got, she's gone right super weird. Right, do you want to be on camera? I, th I think she's. I th right, come on, Rash. just. God, she's just got a bit, 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 bit strange. That's good. <laughs> what what is she doing? Back? No, she's barking now at, at the walk. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's just, just, I don't know what's going on with her, but she's a bit barking whatever we do. Anyway, so yeah, so um, yeah, nice smooth journey in. Driving absolutely perfect. No issues at all. It started fine. Um, got me there fine. Yeah. Um, and how, how was it? Are you still in the multi story? So how was it parking and getting into the multi-storey? That was fine, quite nice. That's <laughs> coming home tonight, but it's just the right, the right amount of momentum. So you kind of, so I have to wind down several stories, and that was easier than in the Ego. So yeah. uh, okay, so that's so good. Yeah. I can't remember I said on the on, on this vlog or on the Facebook. So this could could be. Oh, indigestion now. So I've had definitely not my last commute ever. No, no, I've had three bowls of sweet corn soup. I've overdosed on it. Um, so if it doesn't snow again, this could be the last Manchester snow we see living in Manchester. 
I thought there was more snow forecast. No, it's apparently... It, so this morning it said it could go down to minus four, minus five tonight. And it could go down to minus seven tonight. And then There's Friday... forecast minus five tomorrow. Yeah, but then Friday, Saturday, it's going to go really hot. But then we've got winds are back and the rain's back. And I prefer the cold and the snow and the freezing cold days than the, the rain. Well, the app I'm looking at is definitely not saying it's really hot. Well, I'm, I'm only going what the weather people said on the television, so that's what so apparently... I trust the Met Office. Well, we'll, we'll see anyway. Yeah, yeah it's on the television. There's, there's, a, there's a named storm possibly coming in on Sunday. Anyway, so it's nice and quiet in work because quite a few people didn't even try to come in because of the snow. No. At least from here, it wasn't that bad, like a couple of inches, but it wasn't that bad, really. No, no, no. And you've been, you've nipped to see your mum on the way home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's doing fine. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, right. Sorted out a co op app for her. A co op app? Yeah. On a phone? Yeah, with all, you know, that, well, when you helped her out the other day with all the settings going weird, so she lost a co op app as well. So uh, sorry, if. To put it back on. Some of you may remember Barbara had a problem with the phone and it turned out to be a. Android update that interfered with the specialist software, specialist software that was on it and blah blah blah. It was yeah, not yeah. nothing in life is simple if it's to do with IT. I think we were talking to Barbara at the weekend, weren't we? That technology now, for those of a certain age, if you're not absolutely into it is apps it is now I, I use the word cruel with the way some people are being treated. That if you don't want technology, you just want to just be old fashioned, you're penalised. And, and if you're an old person, you know, it, it, it is actually fundamentally wrong. I mean, absolutely wrong and cruel with, with, with some of the force fed technology that's uh, taking place, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, there's even a bit actually point out. They like, apparently now, I think possibly more in London, but apparently some restaurants now, they don't have. A physical paper menu anymore you have to go and scan this qr code to get the menu like you said what about people that don't want to use technology what about kids and what about having a shared experience looking at the menu all together and it's just like mm. just, did it, did, that would be weird did anybody watch the documentary about um store store cards loyalty cards with the two biggest culprits are uh, is it sainsbury's with a nectar card and Tesco with the club card about what a great big rip off it, it all is. Now, apparently, if you just go into Asda where they don't have a card, the prices are just the same. But basically, if you don't have a card and you go to Tesco's or Sainsbury's, you're penalised for not having a card. But basically, with the card, you think you're getting a better deal. But the prices have been inflated for 28 days before they make before they come down. Anyway, go and check it out. I can't remember it's on the BBC or ITV recently. I watched a documentary that I won't stop at Tes uh, Tesco's is the biggest one. Well, apparently the co-op have just changed their model as well. So they used to give customers with a card 2p off per pound spend that you could accumulate and spend on whatever you wanted. And they're not going to do that anymore. They're going to do special co-op card holding prices or something so uh, hey, yeah, uh, see how that goes so the best loyalty scheme and i've got that app on my phone it's not a loyalty card is the little one basically where you just collect your stuff in the end of the month if you spend a certain amount you get money off your final shop of the month it's just it works but you're going into you're going into tesco now and you're seeing special club card price 4.99 non-club park cloud price seven pound fifty think, Bloody hell, I'm, I'm saving i'm saving money and yeah, but not. on my own, Neil, like going into little, I never ever spend enough to actually get any benefits back. So yeah. the bar set pretty high. Look, if you're a family or something, it maybe works. But, but the prices are low. A single person, it doesn't really. So work. if you if you go and buy something at Tesco's, the only way you, you buy, really. yeah, 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 it's not everything's uh, cheap even in little. No, uh, but anyway, yeah, Tesco's won't won't shop there. Absolutely terrible. Um, so yeah, anyway, a bit of a rant, wasn't it, Sandra? Like we do. I think I think we'll cut we'll we'll cut it off here. Well, you're a lovely, lovely tea made. Homemade Chinese for you. A little bit of a chow mein and a beautiful chicken and sweet corn soup. Cut it off sounds painful, do you? Are you sure you want to cut it off? <laughs> what are you on about? You're thinking things that I'm not thinking. I'm sure you're thinking things that nobody out there is thinking. 
Just so, like end it or like cut it off. Cut oh, it. what should we do then? End our chit chat. End our what? Chit chat. What would you call it? I don't know. Should we say a Carlio? What? A Carlio. Mm, no. This wreckage they call you. I'd like to see your face. It's Gary Newman, this wreckage. So I, I used to be a massive Newmanoid. I mean, a serious, serious, I'm talking, talking ears pissed. I've got a full blown black shirt Newmanoid. And it says the words Akaleo. And it's Japanese for goodbye. Say Akaleo. Bye. It's not Akaleo. Thank you.